Hey guys, Primal Gaming here, and today I'm going to be giving my analysis of Millwall vs Coventry. Now, it's been a few days since the game actually happened, but I'm still annoyed and frustrated over the way that team played. Now, the game had a lot of dodgy things wrong with it. Poor refereeing decisions, poor Millwall side in the first half. They came back in the second half and did pretty well, but they played really poor, and our goalkeeper was terrible, and, well... I've just got to say, Armstrong and Lameris, they were fantastic and they literally ran rings around us. So, let's start talking about the goals and the game in general. So, of course, as I said, Adam Armstrong was one of the better players. He's on loan from Newcastle. Now, the way he scored that goal was frustrating because Ford shouldn't have been that far off his line and we'd literally just had a penalty shout and we'd missed it so we thought when we got the penalty we was gonna go in it was gonna score we was gonna have a completely different game to the way it actually turned out but we missed the penalty Adam Armstrong gotta say it was a beautiful chip but Ford never should have been that far off his line and well I've just gotta say I don't think Ford's head was in it in the first half it just didn't seem like the goalkeeper that he sometimes was last season now I don't really like Ford's performances sometimes and I don't think he's as good as he can be sometimes because I think sometimes he gets let down too easy and I think the second half was a very good and improved performance by him and I think he should play more like that because he looked a lot stronger and a lot more confident if you could say but Armstrong scored there and then Lamera scored don't know how he scored from that angle. It was very, very good to go in from there. And he was one of the key players that just literally dominated us the entire match. And I can't really say anything about how well we played in the first half because we were just so disappointing. Our team literally didn't show up. We had a few good shots, but we didn't really show that we was going to get in this game in the first half. So then Armstrong scored yet another chip, and that was just devastating. Under 25 minutes, we've conceded three. That hasn't happened in a very long time. I know we're at the Den, and apparently there's no added pressure at the Den, but we've lost both of our games so far at the Den. And it's just frustrating, because I don't see Millwall winning at home often. When it's our home stadium, we used to be a strong side that always used to threat the opposition, and the teams used to be scared coming down to the Den, but... Now they just come down to the den and most of them end up getting three points and it annoys me. Because I would have been alright conceding four in the championship considering how bad we had of a season last year. But not as soon as we've just got relegated. Not that early would I have expected to lose 4-0. So we moved on into the second half. We got more involved in the game. We played a little bit better. Just got to say I think Ed Upson was one of our best players in the midfield. Probably our key player in the second half he had a lot of good opportunities but then of course when Ben Thompson and Shane Ferguson came on the pitch that changed the game and that put us in a good position he was doing really really well for quite a long time we just couldn't capitalize on our opportunities Morrison shot it hit Gregory should have gone in and it was just upsetting that it didn't because I wanted Morrison to yet again score goals to make it three and three but that didn't happen that was even more frustration for all us Millwall fans but then you have them going down the opposite side of the pitch in the 80th minute and Jim O'Brien scoring a goal. That just added to the calamities and the absolute mistakes that we made in that game and we nowhere near deserve to win that game. I mean, Ben Thompson was fantastic in his first ever game for Millwall. He was a brilliant player. I hope he plays tonight because I'm actually going to the game where we're playing Barnsley tonight and I'm hoping that we play a lot better because... I've kind of lost faith with Mill playing at home. I think if we play away we do well, but at home it's hard. And it's really, really upsetting because I have a season ticket and I love going to Millwall games. I love watching Millwall play, when they play well that is. But recently at home they haven't had that spark and shown that they're going to be that superb team at home as well as away. And if people all us Millwall fans want to go up, which I don't know whether that's going to be possible. I think we should just aim for mid-table. But if Millwall fans are saying we need to go straight up, then we need to get that home form sorted as well as the away form. So, 
I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. As I said, I'm going to the Millwall Barnsley game tonight. I'm hoping it's going to be a lot better of a game today. I'm hoping we don't concede four again. But what I'm expecting is Harris to drop most of the team and play with a bunch of younger players. Just to give a surprise feel to the team. Archer deserves to play in goal. He played well against Barnet. That's how I feel anyway. I think Archer should go in goal. Doubt it'll happen, but it'll be good. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Yeah,